Hello and welcome back to Coaches Co-Creating. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of values. And my name is Jasmine and I'm a co-active transitional life coach. And I'm Amanda and I'm a co-active business coach. So today we're talking about values. So we're going to be looking at uh, what they are and um, how you can find out what yours are um, and then why they're important, why you should pay attention to your values in life and how they can bring you ultimate happiness. So what is a value though? What is a value? So I guess it's anything really that's important to you. Uh, anything that um, you know you've hold very strong opinions on, um, and char characteristics and behaviours that kind of determine the decisions you make. They're all very, very important and very um, indicative of what values you hold true. Um, and in the coactive uh, model, we do look at uh, mining for values, is what we call it. So we do a lot of work on uh, with our clients to find out you know where their values are what uh, what's important to people um, and we do this in a number of ways great well let's find our values today then <laughs> let's find our values so um i guess one way to find out our values is um can i ask you a question about uh what annoys you what annoys you Gosh, have you got half an hour? <laughs> um, uh, I think the one thing that really irritates me more than anything is when people don't take responsibility. So they blame others for their own mistakes or, or they are resentful about things that, you know, that they're seemingly outside of their own control, but it's actually down to them and they don't realise it. So it's, yeah, taking ownership. Yeah. Wow. So I guess, um, so it's the opposite becomes your value. Yeah, I guess for me, what that means is that I, you know, taking responsibility is really important to me as a value. It's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's important that people own their own mistakes and their own, uh, conquests, their own lives really. And, you know, don't blame other people for, uh, what they think is, um, you know, their, their fault, you know, so yeah it's don't blame anyone else that's a really important thing for me wow and um how do you can you feel that in your body like how do you know that's your one of your real values i tense i get really tense in my shoulders and if i if i hear somebody blaming someone else i start to feel very kind of like not angry but it bubbles inside me where you just feel sort of like i don't know just it, it, it's just it's just this guttural sort of feeling of wow. take responsibility <laughs> it's just you know i just yeah it's important and it's exactly the same if somebody uh, in a justice situation if somebody won't admit their guilt that it it, it, it you know it, that's what it does it percolates that feeling again you know you just think um it's really important that people own up you know say they're sorry and you know so it leads to lots of different values as well it's you know it's not just about uh taking responsibility it's all about the things about don't blame you know own up apologize say you're sorry and all the things that sort of you know kind of like splay from that one what one sort of value so mm. wow and what oh yes yes tell me another <laughs> tell me another um, I was just thinking that actually that justice is very important to me, but also um, I, I don't like it if somebody tells lies um, because honesty and integrity are two of my strongest, highest values. Wow. Um, and so that's when I feel, uh, yeah, that's when I feel the most upset if somebody's lied to me. Yeah. And, and I think that's one thing for people to look out for is if you get very upset by somebody's treatment of you, then it's very likely that they're trampling on one of your values or maybe two or three of your values. So that's, that's an important thing to look out for. Um, but yeah, I've been lied to a few times and in business, it's, you know, it's not as bad as maybe as in your personal life, but it still, it still hurts and it's still very difficult to kind of reconcile in your brain as to why, you know, why they would do that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, honesty and integrity, definitely very, very, very important to me. So you've got uh, taking responsibility, honesty, integrity, 
And what else annoys you? Oh, okay. <laughs> this makes me sound like a really horrible <laughs> person. Um, I think it, uh, that it's, it's a trickier one to sort of really go deeper than that because those are the ones that, that come mm. to mind really, okay. really quickly. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, without sort of giving it much more thought, I'll have to, have to ponder that one. So why don't I ask you instead? Okay. Okay, so instead of looking at what annoys you, go yeah. to the opposite end of that spectrum. And I want you to think, Jasmine, of, like a, we call it a peak experience. So something that's happened in your life um, and just go to that place now and that memory. So if you want to close your eyes, if, yeah. you, if you want Might to close, close your eyes, close your eyes. Might close my eyes. Um, but just immerse yourself in that experience and think back to you know, where you were, how you felt, what the scene around you was. I can see nature. Uh -huh. um, I can see laughing, people laughing. Okay. Um, I can see family. And how do you feel? Uh, I feel relaxed, peace, very peaceful. carefree and what's important about those feelings to you um what's important about those feelings well i love feeling i love feeling peace i mean because if i'm feeling peace then i'm not worrying i'm not stressing i'm okay. i can be myself yeah safe so what yeah. would those values be then? So peace. So you uh, just said there, um, you said you started with nature. So maybe sort of, you know, nature is a, you know, it's important for you to have that sort of beauty around you. So it could be that as a quality or a value that things you like, you know, natural aesthetics to be yes, nice. Totally. Um, you said safe. So security is obviously a value for you, or it could be an important one, but not necessarily as much as, say laughter or good humor yeah family yeah, um, yeah connection yeah yeah there's loads there absolutely loads there's a lot isn't there yeah 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 and that's the good thing about a peak experience because it can actually isolate for you um all the things that are important to you in a very a very clear concise form so you know if you have a peak experience it's almost like saying yeah that was the best day of my life why was it the best day and you look at the num you can number then what's what's gone on that day and what what's important and and why who was there and why it was so you know why it was so lovely it's often okay. why you know weddings are often said to be the best day of days of people's lives isn't it because they've got all the family there that they love they've got all their friends you know they're they're you know getting married so they you know they've got the love of their life there with them wow. so it's all the things that have, you know kind of conspired to bring them yeah. this wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful uh, feeling so and it only takes a few second minutes to do doesn't it one minute or two minutes yeah just yeah think about that and so why do you think it's important to um to know our values i think i mean uh, there's um there's several theories about values and how you you need to have them aligned in your life you know you need to align to your values in your life um because if they're not uh, congruent with what you want, then uh, you'll become unhappy. And so, for example, if, you know, if I had people, you know, repeatedly lying to me, telling me lies yeah. and not being honest, then that would make me seriously unhappy because it's not aligning with my values. Wow. Um, equally, if I wasn't, you know, if I wasn't allowed to live with my family or, you know, my friends, I couldn't see my friends anymore or, you know those sort of things they would actually upset you so you can't actually live you know true to the way you want to be exactly you can't live true to yourself can you and in business you see it an awful lot because people people do is that they set up in business and they work really really hard to get that business going and they work really really hard to um to make the money that they want to make and to to, to create the security and the freedom that they set out to achieve but then what happens is they lose sight of some of their values so things like their family and uh, yeah, their friends yeah, and leave yeah. things fall by the wayside so that 
all of a sudden they're living out of kilter with their values and they're in you know the imbalance causes them you know they're, they're achieving what they want in their business but they're desperately mm. unhappy yeah, part of their yeah, life. yeah 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 it doesn't work of course they're going to be unhappy and unfulfilled mm. yeah not living to their values and i think that's the, the key word you just used there is about fulfillment because when you when you are living true to your values then you do feel more fulfilled you do feel that there's an equilibrium yeah, in your life you yeah. feel that there's balance and um everything seems to be sort of working for you and not against you so yeah and how many i guess we all have many values yeah and i guess you can't live you can't honor all of them so do you think we just need to honor like the top five or something or yeah, I I think that's something we probably work with with our clients, isn't it? Where you actually isolate their, say, their top five values, yeah. like the ones that are going to make the difference in their in their lives. Um, Dr. Uh, John D. Martini talks about isolating your top ten values, and you know that's quite a good long list there. And like you said, I think you, you'll find that it's difficult to keep them all aligned. Uh, you know, there may be things that are slightly out, but it's actually being aware. That's the first mm. step, isn't it? Yeah. Once you're aware yeah. of that, yeah. then you can kind of re recalibrate and make yourself, um, uh, you know, sort of turn and face whatever it is you need to sort of address. You um, figure it out as well, don't you? If you're, once you're aware, you find your way. Yeah. 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 And I guess, uh, I guess another question we could ask as well is, um, who do you admire? Yeah, because that's a very good one, isn't it? So who do you admire then? Who do I admire? I don't know why. I always think of Madonna, but I think it's because I used to admire her like when I was like eight or five years old or something. So that's yeah. the first name that comes into my head. Um, so what did you admire about her though? What did I admire about her? Or what uh, do you still? If you still well, admire. I think her strength. And mm -hmm. um, I guess when I was five, it probably wasn't about strength then. Um, what was it about? Yeah, what was it? Different. She was unique. She was different. Mm. You know, mm. um, powerful, maybe. There was just something about her. I loved her music, obviously, when I was that age. But the I think she had this energy about her. Yeah. So, what value would that be? Um, well, you said uniqueness. Uniqueness. And you liked her yeah. strength as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Obviously, those are important things to you too. Yes. Have. Yeah, yeah. And you're it's, quite an independent yeah. person, aren't you? So, actually, there's that courage in that strength, isn't there? Yeah, it's funny because even you just asking me that now, I've, I've realised about that, you know? Mm. So yeah. it's good to always to ask ourselves these questions quite, not just one time. You, yeah, because you your values them. can change as well, can't they? And yeah. you can actually awaken something that you didn't realise exactly. you know, was there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uniqueness and strength, I like that. And, what's, and what about you? Um, who do you admire? <laughs> well, going back to what you were just talking about, um, I think, you know, when you said about people you admire when you're a child, as opposed to as you get older, that's quite an interesting thing to look at because, you know, when I was younger, I, I loved Whitney Houston. And it's like wow. you were talking about. And I think with Whitney Houston, for me, I think it was all about, you know, her, her, her energy as well. Like really? It's just interesting. You said the same, but for me, it was about her, her um her, her voice obviously i loved yeah, her voice yeah, but yeah. also just she seemed to be a very kind of um just very very sort of powerful energy i just you know and it was ever so funny i'd just tell this story in our local cinema we have um we have toilet doors we have stars on you know like the stars of hollywood and i would always go into the the, the <laughs> i'd always go into the one that had whitney houston on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> which was quite you know quite telling but but you know coming back to more modern times somebody like oprah is is you know the person that i would say i admire the most wow. strongly in yeah Wait, just to interrupt you there before you tell us about oprah um when you said um whitney houston you liked her voice i was mm. going to ask you another question like what what was it about her voice 
because then maybe that's another value again i mean to steal your word it was unique and i just oh, think really? i've never heard i've never heard anything like it and you know she was so versatile as well you know she had such a range you know she could do a pop song but she could do an absolute stonking ballad you know yeah. and it was just you know and i didn't realize that i will always love you as a cover I, i'd always thought that was an original um but then yeah. when i discovered the dolly parton version dolly parton's version is wonderful as well you know and i yeah. she she wrote it apparently yeah. she wrote that and jolene on the same day which i wow. think is again oh wow she's that another lady cool. i admire dolly yeah. parton amazing so yeah yeah, yeah 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 there's so many people that you can kind of pick out and you know i think that's a very easy one to do actually is who do you admire because we've all got our icons and our you know people we put on pedestals haven't we so it's a good one to kind of it you know evaluate what you like and dislike in people exactly and when you say your value out loud it's like you feel more connected to yourself again don't you it's like another yeah. connection yeah. with yourself or stronger yeah. connection or something yeah, yeah. no it's um very very interesting yeah it's, i don't know yeah so how are we doing for time yeah i think it's um i think it's time is it okay yeah <laughs> i think i think <laughs> so next week what we're going to be talking about we, we're going to do some um visualization next week aren't we? yes visualizations i absolutely love visualizations Yes, yeah, so really we've got a couple that. of good ones, but we've got some some fun ones as well, actually, which are quite interesting. And if you are, you know, minded to do visualizations, then yeah, you'll want to see it because it'll be quite. I think it'll be quite good fun. Definitely, um, definitely. Not, not too much giggling, hopefully. No. So. <laughs> and <laughs> and learning lots of new insights. That's the thing about yes. visualizations and clarity. Yes, because it, it again, it can reveal things that you don't actually anticipate um, on the surface you know it can be become something of a revelation which i think yeah that's a good thing about it as well no definitely well um so if you're ready for a change um i can help you and just message me at my website below for a free consultation yeah because you're transitional life coaching aren't you so that's yeah. for people who are you know embarking on things like you know values would play very strongly into that wouldn't it because like you say, with the transitions, you can have different things going on. So, you know, there may be contrasting values going on as well for you. So, yeah. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. And equally in business, people have, you know, they have things that they need to examine. And, uh, you know, I work particularly with people who are stressed and overwhelmed. Um, and that can often be because their values are being, you know, sort of ignored. So if that resonates with you, then please do get in touch with me. Um, my website's www.happycoach.co.uk and the links are all in the bios as well. So if you want to speak to either of us, you can do. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll sign off for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>